Good morning. It is, what time is it? Half past six. I had a reasonable night's sleep. My setup is so much better than it was um, the last time. I'm sleeping, you wouldn't be able to tell, but I'm sleeping like lengthways down the car. I've like put one seat down and I'm sleeping lengthways. And it's so much better. I can stretch my legs out and everything. It was a bit of a crazy night for like wind and rain which was quite cool like lying in the car and listening to the rain bouncing down and the wind like how we were shaking a little bit it was cool and I think to be honest today is a little bit more the same in terms of weather a windy rainy day so I don't really know what the plan is I think I want to just explore Holy Island a little bit today but that's probably gonna have to be done in the wind and the rain which isn't ideal but never mind this was my spot last night how amazing to wake up to this even on a windy rainy day look at this there's even toilets like i'm parked there i guess you'd never close right now maybe there's seasonal toilets but there's toilets here too. It feels so great this morning walk with the fresh sea air. It's cold but it's nice. Just to show you that this is what the car looks like from the outside. You can't tell. That's my breakfast on the roof. because well rain and wind I'm actually gonna eat some rice and like stir fry veg that I brought from home <laughs> which may you may think is an odd thing for breakfast but I quite fancy it and actually it's quite comfy here I'm sitting on the back seat and then this is where my bed was going like down the car I like it I've had my breakfast I've just been sitting here for like 20 minutes or so I think I am gonna head the weather does not sound nice out there I think I'm gonna head to Tesco put the car on charge for a few hours, go and use their toilets and freshen up there and things. And then, um, I don't know what to do this weather. It got a little mo bit more crowded out here. All charged up, or three quarters charged anyway. We're on the move, I'm getting bored of just sitting here. We are heading to, let me check my map. I'm very sorry, Welsh people. <laughs> Porth de Farge. I don't know how you say it. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, I've just arrived. It's absolutely insane. Let me show you. Oh my goodness, it's wild out there. I'm glad I brushed my hair this morning. Wow, that's a good reminder of how powerful the sea is. That was amazing. Right, now I'm gonna drive on to Trouda Bay. Insane. <sighs> wow, the wind. I was just, oh my hands are cold. I was just standing there in the sea, I was just coming up and splashing in my face. I can taste the salt. And the wind was like blowing me back. I had to like tense myself. 
Just let it fall over. Wow. Oh my God. That's crazy out there. Yeah. It's about 12-ish now, I think. And I have just been driving around the Isle of Anglesey all morning. Um, just taking in the views. I love driving around different places and just taking the views as I go. I've stopped at various different places to have a little look. I wanted to go on more. It's a bit, the weather is a little bit of a dampener to be honest. It's a shame because it has just been like, you know, pouring all morning. But, so I haven't really like stopped for a long time at any places. It's just kind of like a quick get out, check out the view and get back in the car. But I have just arrived at Benlech. The sea is there. The beach is there. It is still raining. But you know what? I'm just going to put my coat on. And I'm going to go on a little wander because I'm not going to sit in my car all day whilst it rains and not get out. Wow. It's high, it's high tide at the moment. So the sea is right in. There's normally quite a big beach here, is my understanding. We started this morning here. And then we headed there, Port Darfa, <laughs> Triada Bay, and then I, we drove all the way kind of around here. I went there, I went through here, and then we are now here. The sand. It's lovely. What a nice beach this is. Ice cream. Not at this time of year, but. Oh, I bet it's absolutely glorious here in the summer. There's actually something really quite nice about walking by the sea in the rain. I'm quite enjoying it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'd be nice if it was sunny. But... <laughs> It's like coming up onto the pavement. Apparently, this is a footpath. No, no, it's not. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I didn't decide to miss this place. I was driving somewhere else and then last minute, I decided to head here instead. I'm in Nubra Forest. And there's also Llanwyn Beach there. I've just driven like two miles through the forest to get to this nature reserve. I'm going to have a wander. It's crazy. The weather is still crazy, but I don't care. I'm going to go and have a wander around out here. I'll probably head, hmm, which should I head first? Beach or forest? Maybe beach first. I'll go and see the beach first and then I'll head into the forest. experience. I wanted to walk. If you walk for about 40 minutes or so you can get to this island. I don't think, well I've turned back now because I don't think it's doable. I think the tide is too high. And it's wicked. I'm so glad I didn't miss coming here. I wasn't going to come. It's been the highlight of the day. I've just been walking along the beach and like through the dunes and through the forest and stuff. Oh my goodness. It's incredible, despite the wind and rain. In fact, the wind and rain have kind of, well, I kind of added to it. It's brutal. Oh, 
they do a park one here. Please note that the island can be cut off at high tide. We advise you to leave the island two hours before the high tide. The next place I'm visiting is Llanfair Pull Gwyn Gill Go Ger a Huirn Dropus Llanta Silio Go Go Go. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it, apparently. This place has the longest place name in Europe with 58 letters. It's the second longest place name in the world. There's somewhere in New Zealand that's got something like 96 letters or something in the name. Had a little wander around the shop. They sold all sorts of Welsh things. And I bought a few little goodies to take home with me. I have left Anglesey now and I have come to Bangor. I've parked my car there. I think it might be a good spot for the night. It's so grey. <laughs> but it's right by the, well, the sea if it was there. But also, look. Toilets. I assume these toilets won't stay open overnight, but if they do, this spot is a winner. Wow, it's miserable out there. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a shame because it would have been nice to have a bit more of a wander around. I've just had a lot of wander, but it's just grey and cold and rainy, so I'm not going to bother. I've just got in the back and I'm going to settle down. It's only, I think it's like seven o'clock. It can't be seven, it's a bit too late for seven. Nearly seven anyway. I've had such an amazing day though, despite the weather. It's been so good. I think this is going to be a good spot. I'm going to just get in bed, watch something on my iPad, listen to the rain. Can you hear it? Falling on the car. I quite like it. And fingers crossed for a good night. We'll see, there's lots of cars at the moment parked on this little lay-by. I don't know whether they're going to leave or whether they're here. I thought it looked like quite a good spot because there were so many cars around. It looks like a sensible, like I was saying for last night, it looks like a sensible place where cars would be. I think it should be all right. Good morning. I had another pretty good sleep. It's about a half past six. It rained so much, I did wake up a couple of times. And it was just hammering it down. It's not raining at the moment, but oh, it's just started raining. <laughs> As I said that, oh, I've looked at the weather, it is due to mostly kind of rain today. I'm just lying here contemplating what I'm gonna do. I might bob my head out in a minute, go and have a little five minute walk and a little stretch and see if those toilets are open. The toilets are locked. That's okay. I'm sure they'll open soon. Toilets are open. I'm going to go for a freshen up. Honestly, this place is better than I put at home at the moment. There's hot water. I haven't got hot water at home. Feeling a little bit fresher now. I've Washed my face, brushed my teeth, brushed my hair, cleaned up my pots and pans. I was going to drive somewhere, but it's actually quite nice here, so I'm going to sit here and eat my breakfast. I brought some chilli from home. Again, another potentially odd breakfast, but I've got some chilli. I was going to get my, I've brought my 
um gas stove with me i was gonna like put it out there and warm it up but to be honest i'm just gonna eat it cold i'm not that bothered hopefully it's still okay because it has been like it was frozen when i came whoa let's see oh it smells okay Yeah. Mm. That's nice. Bean chili for breakfast with a sea view. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I'm coming outside, it's not raining, I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna sit on this wall with this bean chili. <laughs> what a wonderful breakfast that was. It was so nice. I sat there for an hour in the end, just eating my breakfast and then just watching the clouds over the hills and listening to the birds. A wonderful way to start the day. Unfortunately, I do have to go home today. I spoke to Stephen last night and I've got to go home for something, which is a little shame. It's coming to an end a little bit sooner than I wanted. I maybe wanted one more night, but that's okay. I think I'm going to slowly amble back home. I've just found a place on the map. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Pen memoir. Oh, I did try to pronounce it. Um, there's a beach there. I'm gonna it's about a 50 minute drive away from here. I'm gonna drive there, and then maybe I'll see how the car is for charge. Maybe find somewhere to charge, and then head home. This has been epic. I've loved every minute of it. It's been amazing. Wow, it's amazing here. There's blue skies. I'm not driving home whilst there's blue skies. I'm gonna take a little walk along here. It's amazing. There's a big car park up there. And then there's this is prom here with lots of parking along it. And look at this. Come on, son. I know you're trying. There is Land now. Me and Stephen have cycled up to the top of that. It was incredibly difficult. <laughs> it was so steep, it was crazy. That tide is coming in fast. The beach will be gone in a few minutes. This is amazing. Sunshine. Oh. I do not want to go home. I want to carry on. I'm a, if it wasn't before, I'm an absolute car camping convert. I'm gonna just have a little bit more of a wander around here, enjoy the sun, go and charge the car a little bit and head home. But I am definitely gonna do more car camping. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.